Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk LT2 today and more of the 2020 tech uh, because I want to really break down the photographs that I took in a little bit closer detail. All right, let's start here. This is the actual internals of the oil saw. Oil comes in here, drains down. Now, if you look here, here's the oil, to oil uh, dipstick tube. Now, oil level is going to have to be up here, which means that the oil pump pickup, which is right down here, is going to gravity feed into the engine. Now, that's important for a couple of different reasons. Let's take a look at the next picture here. If you look right here, this is the oil tank. It's actually going right directly into the actual case. So there's no hoses, there's no pipes, there's no chance of cavitation because gravity feeds it right down directly into the engine. Now let's take a look at this next piece. This is part of the oil scavenging system. Here is your timing chain here, but this is an actual scavenging pump. See, this is the plastic pickup. So it's gonna suck any oil that accumulates in this area out of the valley and directly into the pump itself, which is chain driven. There is a timing, there is a tensioner here on this chain. So that was another important point to that. So that is one of your scavenging pumps. Well, that's the intake. We're going to go back to that later. That's another side view, another one. But let's take a look in deeper. And we look here, and I think we're going to go to this picture right here. Now let's take a look really, really closely here. This, which is a Geroder type oil pump, that has to be one scavenging pump. Let's take a look at the second Geroder pump. That's also a scavenging pump, but see, look at this one right here. This has got to be oil supply. This oil supply here has got to be engine control module modulated with a basically solenoid to control oil pressure, much like they did on 2014 to 2019 generation five small block. So I really like this design because look, they just took the LS7, LS9, LT1, LT4, which basically had one pump here and one pump here, and then they added a second scavenging pump here. So in my opinion, this oil system has got to be just the most incredible aspect in my opinion because of what they're trying to do. They're trying to make an engine that is going to be so well lubricated, but so efficiently lubricated that you're taking any type of variables out of the mix. And take a look here, just a little side note here. This is your timing chain, ten, chain tensioner, excuse me, for the actual camshaft. Notice, not hydraulically actuated. It's hard to see, but this is actually just spring loaded. There's no tensioner over here. So I'm looking at it, uh, no hydraulic tensioner, excuse me. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, so spring loaded, very simple. Keep it simple. Now, maybe there's details here that is not, that are not in the actual cutaway that maybe there will be in the regular engine, but I don't think so. Only because this eye here would be how you compress the tensioner to hold it in place. So with that in mind, there's a little bit of more tech on the LT2. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. Those of you who are waiting for the T6070 and the Getrag continuation, I am waiting for a GM special service tool to fully disassemble it. So it will be a day, a few days before I get that tool in. So just so you're aware, uh, we are going back to that. But for now, a little bit of LT2. Have a good day, everyone.